Good morning, Movement Kids. I am so excited to be with you this morning. I'm Sherry, the Movement Kids Director here at Movement Christian Church. And this week, we are going to be continuing our study on creation. The past few weeks, we've been learning all about how God created our world. Day one, day two, day three, and everything that he created on those days. Let's review the days of creation with this cute little song. Watch this. Day one, day one, God made light when there was none. Day one, day one, God made light when there was none. Day two, day two, God made clouds and sky so blue. Day two, day two, God made clouds and sky so blue. Day three, day three, God made grass and flowers and trees. Day three, day three, God made grass and flowers and trees. Day four, day four, sun and moon and stars galore. Day four, day four, sun and moon and stars galore. Day five, day five, God made birds and fish alive. Day five, day five, God made birds and fish alive. Six day, six day, God made animals and men that day. Six day, six day, God made animals and men that day. Day seven, day seven, God has rested in his heaven. Day seven, day seven, God has rested in his heaven. Today we're going to be focusing on day six and seven of creation. In Genesis chapter one, it says that God created all the creatures on the land on day six. All the animals, the wild ones, the livestock, every creature that crawls along the ground. And he also made man. That is a lot to make in one day. And then it says on day seven that he rested. What an amazing day that would have been to create all those animals in just one day. Check out this cool little video of an amazing little caterpillar that we found on my front porch. See? Snakes is a lot. Oh, this is just a baby. <gasps> huh? So weird. <gasps> Stop, don't touch, don't touch. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It looks like a crazy little alien or something, but it's just a cute little caterpillar that will one day turn into a beautiful white moth. But if you see one of these in your yard, do not touch it, for those little fuzzy antennas will sting you. Do you want to see another video of a crazy animal check this out you got a deer walking through the beans y'all see the... oh he's running <laughs> y'all see y'all see deer he's gone okay he looks started yeah. shoot him man <laughs> okay so that really wasn't a deer just my kids being silly but they are wonderful creations of god too check out this video that gives us more details of what happened on day six of creation In Genesis chapter 1, God tells us about how He created our world and everything in it in six days. In Genesis chapter 2, we learn that on the seventh day God rested. Also in Genesis chapter 2, God tells us more about the sixth day of creation. This was the day when God made all the land animals and also the first man and the first woman. The first man's name was Adam. God made Adam of the dust of the ground and breathed into him the breath of life. God made a garden in a place called Eden. God put Adam in the garden, and out of the ground the Lord God made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. Genesis 2.9 
God also put the tree of life in the garden, and another tree called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God gave this command to Adam, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Genesis 2:17. God brought all the beasts of the field and birds of the air to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever Adam called each living creature, that was its name. Genesis 2:19. Each animal had its pair, but Adam did not have a pair. God would make a helper for Adam, someone who would be like Adam and would be his pair. God made Adam go to sleep, and he took one of Adam's ribs. God made a woman from Adam's rib. Adam would name her Eve. God brought her to Adam, and Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Genesis 2.23 Now let's review what we learned in Genesis chapter 2. On the seventh day of creation, God rested. On the sixth day of creation, God made Adam from the dust and breathed life into him. God made the Garden of Eden and put Adam in the garden. God filled the garden with trees that were good for food. He also put the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and the tree of life in the garden. God told Adam he could eat fruit from all the trees of the garden, except for the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God said on the day Adam ate of the fruit of this tree, Adam would surely die. God brought all the animals to Adam for him to name them. All the animals had a pair, but Adam did not. God made Adam go to sleep, and from Adam's rib, God made Eve. God brought her to Adam. She would be Adam's helper. Well, no wonder that God rested on day seven. He made so many animals and was so busy on day six of creation, making animals and man in his own image. That is a lot. He had such a busy day. Have you ever had that busy of a day before? I bet you would have rested afterwards too. Today for our activity, I like for you, if you have Legos at your house or some building blocks, to try to build and create an animal that you would have made if you were there with God that day. Here are some cool videos of some little animals that were made from Legos. Watch these.
I would love to see how your imagination works and what you create. Take a picture of it and load it up to our Facebook page to let me see what you made. Well, this morning we have seen how amazing and how wonderful God is. Let's sing some praises to him. Let's sing going to lift you up. wonderful and amazing. We learn all about how he created the world and all about how much he loves his people and gave his son to save our lives all through the Bible, which are his letters to us. The Bible is a very important book containing the truth of God's words. Let's sing a song about the B-I-B-L-E, the Bible.
great time with you this morning, learning all about day six and seven. I have one more video to show you that shows a lot of God's beautiful creation. The things that he created, the sun, the moon, the stars, the mountains, the oceans, the seas, all the animals that live in the ocean and that fly in the air and walk on the land. And of course, his final and greatest creation, mankind. Watch this last video.
I've had such a good time with you this morning, learning all about day six and seven of creation. God is such a wonderful and amazing God. We love him so very much. Thanks for joining us this morning. Hope to see you next week. Bye.